The House of Representatives Ad Hoc Committee on Students, Loan Fund and Access to Higher Education in Nigeria is proposing an increase of the proposed student loan announced by the President Bola Ahmed Tinubu from 1% to 3%. The committee made these suggestions during a public hearing to ascertain the level of progress made so far by a presidential committee put together to remove all legal encumbrances hindering access to the loan by Nigerian students. Chairman House of Committee Tese Ubo said this will enable the federal government fulfill its agenda of ensuring every Nigerian student have access to funds to complete his or her education pursued despite the hardship caused by the removal of fuel subsidy by the President Tinubu administration in May this year. We've been meeting as a committee and we've looked at specific areas that we think should be further refined to be able to answer all the questions that Nigerians needed answered and most importantly to make the act very responsive to the need to increase access to higher education, especially for those people that could not afford it. The committee is meeting, we met as a broader committee, the CBN, the Minister of Finance, Education, Budget Office. And our last meeting was on the June, on 13th of July. And what we agreed was for the technical group to keep working. And what they were to start working on is, we've agreed on some basic things that yes, are going to change. But beyond what will change in the act, our focus is how do we get this implementation on. And the technical committee has gone ahead and they've done some work in looking at the most effective way to make sure that these funds reach the people that are intended to reach. Federal lawmaker, lawmakers were not convinced that the technical committee is conscious of the hardship and concerns of Nigerians who are groaning under the present harsh economic conditions. For both the permanent secretary and the Minister of Education and members of the presidential technical committee, there have been significant progress in the grafting of a legal framework that will guide the implementation of the Students' Loan Act. This should be a program different from others. It will be nimble. Looking at the demography that we're looking at, that is the student populace. They are tech technology savvy, and that is why we're proposing that this office created by this act will be run on autopilot, technologically driven. You know, application from beginning to disbursement will actually be from the push of button. Nobody is going to be carrying uh, paper around. And what did we identify on our work? Amendment, like I've said already, then the establishment of the Nigerian Education Loan Fund itself, you know, the setting up of the committee itself, as said in the, in the bill. But that is not for the committee to do. It is for uh, the authority to actually appoint persons deem fit. Then we should... Bill has been assented to for, I think, two months now or thereabouts. The technical committee is still working, which means as it stands, because you've mentioned some issues to be really reworked on, on the bill, which means the program cannot take off until the act is repealed. Or it has to be amended. It can work. So the assent of the president on the bill itself is more or less as if nothing has been done. That is what we believe, and like you rightly said, the outcry of students and parents, and based on this, universities are jacking up their, are coming with requests to increase their salary. But like you've said, you see, when you, you, you justify why schools should increase salaries, I mean school fees, these are federal institutions. Honorable sir. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.